Get him! Get him! Oof! Whoa! How did he do all this in 100 days? This is really crazy impressive. Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to be reacting to a channel called Dr. Plants. 2 million, just hit 2 million, congratulations on that. And it says, bring nature into your home. I'm going to subscribe. The video we're going to be reacting to today is called Simulating a Forest for 100 Days. Let's check it out. A hundred days ago, this forest was nothing more than a graveyard. But with time, it evolved through rain and fire. Watch as empires rise and predators fall. But Ew. the real question is, who can survive? That thing is gross looking. On day one, the tank was built from dirt, a log, and a fox skeleton from head to toe. It's already been bleached though. That looks like, a, like it's been bleached. It may look barren now, but where there is death, there is life. Day five. The first plants began to emerge and they overtook the landscape. There were animals, both big and small. The snails were the earliest signs of life and spend most of their time eating. Surely he added the bugs, right? Everything was at peace. Though, this peace wasn't going to last for long. Plants were disappearing at an alarming rate, and not because of the snails. Uh -oh. Something else was eating them. Something underground. Earthworms. Mm. They were taking over and destroying everything in their path. I needed to control them. I needed a predator. Meet the Eastern Worm Ooh. Snake. She is a master worm hunter, and hopefully she can keep their population in check. While this war was going on below ground, something magical began to grow above. Magical. Day nine, oyster mushrooms. Mushrooms. They are one of the fastest growing species on our planet, and snails have emerged to feed. These mushrooms were not the only life within the log. Inside, there lies the beginnings of an uh -oh. empire. This is a queen carpenter ant, and she is raising her first batch of young. Each one of these larvae is going to become a loyal worker to serve her empire. We ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. By day 21, the plants had grown dramatically. Wow. There were now many forms of life, but could they live together? This slug, for example, had just laid a pile of eggs. She has to stand watch because other animals were out to eat them. How did he do all this in 100 days? This is really crazy impressive. Crickets. They were uh -oh. not only eating her eggs, but many of the plants too. Their population was quickly getting out of hand. They didn't have a predator. Until now, here is a male and female jumping spider. Ugh, gross. They make one deadly duo. After adding them into the tank, they began the hunt. The crickets have incredible eyesight, but the spider's vision is even better. They have eyes on the front and okay, quit with the damn head. spider. Mm. With only one bite, he is totally paralyzed. It was Dang. time to enjoy her hard-earned meal. What a cool project this is. Day 21. Now, life around the log did not go unnoticed. Inside, the queen's first worker had begun to hatch. The queen helped her emerge from her cocoon until she could stand on her own six feet. She was the first of many. Oh my gosh. By day 50, the tank was completely overgrown.
Day 50, the halfway. Plants were choking each other out. I needed something to eat them. Something big. Meet the spike plate millipede. These large herbivores should eat many of the plants. After adding them in, they took refuge deep in the undergrowth. They explored the tank, looking for a safe place to hide. This one had walked right past a web. A jumping spider nest. That's the ugliest this one. This nest was built with one goal in mind, to protect her young. For now, she closes off the door and seals herself in. How did he get all of them having laying eggs during this 100 day trial? That's pretty impressive. Meanwhile, the slug eggs were about to hatch. Ew. At this stage, they were completely transparent and the babies were trying to find a way out. The first baby manages to break free and soon the rest follow. That's pretty cool, but. Clouds were rolling in, and all of the animals needed to hide. 67 days before he had any weather. Hide. It could only mean one thing. It was about to rain. Many of the animals gathered after the storm for a drink. Even the worm snake made a short visit. The amount of cameras that he has involved in this and the different lenses to have like so, such close focus, it's really cool. There's a lot of hard work in this 10 minute video. Oh, flowers. By day 80, flowers began to bloom. Despite their beauty, not all life was balanced. Ugh. The jumping spiders were having trouble finding food as the ants were taking over. Oh boy. Inside their nest, an army was forming. I needed to stop them. It was time to introduce a new predator. Here is a group of scorpions. <laughs> Just any scorpion. These are wood scorpions. They have powerful claws and a venomous sting. Ow. So, it was time to- Oh, hell no. I carefully lowered them into the undergrowth. No. Ooh. Most of the scorpions decided to take shelter. But this one had wandered into jumping spider territory. Uh-oh. He has no idea because he is nearly blind. His only option was to stand completely still. Get him! Get him! She's tasting him to see if he's food. As Ew. she begins to walk away, he moves. Oh no. But it looks like he got away with it this time. That mistake almost cost him his life. And soon, day faded to night and they reemerged. Whoa. They glow under ultraviolet light so they can recognize one another. In the shadows, there lived another mythical creature, the ornate harvestmen. They scavenge the dark terrain for whatever food they can find. 
By day 90, the dry season had come. There was no more rain, and the ground began to dry out. I carefully removed every last oh. animal from the tank, but not for the reason you might think. Because on day 94, a dry thunderstorm was about to begin. A wildfire. It quickly began to spread. How this doesn't break the glass is beyond me. Everything began to burn until every last plant was gone. Ooh. Or so I thought. From the ashes sprouted new life. The cycle was going to begin all over wow. again and again and again. Here is another ecosystem I made, and be sure to check it out. Well, that was really, really cool. Um, I don't know why he was handling those scorpions with his damn hand. That was like, ooh, scary. I don't know if y'all have ever been stung by a scorpion. It hurts. Like, really, really bad it hurts. So, anyway, that was really cool. I know that took a lot of work. It's got a crazy amount, like 16 million views. So, we were the only ones that hadn't seen it. If you guys enjoyed the video, maybe check out some of my older videos and come back tomorrow because we'll be watching something else. See you then.